for everyone, and we'll get right to questions uh, for Nathan so we can get him to the locker room. Go ahead, Ch uh, Chad, right here in the back. Nate, the first half, I mean, have you ever seen anything like that in your life? No, nah, this isn't like us. Um, it started from me. Like, I'm like Coach Stuttermeyer on the court. I'm like another coach on the court, so I didn't do my job in getting my team organized and getting my guys involved. I feel like I played very selfish tonight, so that's on me, and that's not us. Like, even if we were making shots, I could have created easier shots and just provided a spark, really, and energy and energize our team and know just to keep moving forward and play hard, even when we went down early. Before you come out of the locker room for the game, can you sense from being around the guys, you know, what, what their energy is and you know whether or not they're ready to play? Yeah. I feel like our warm-up wasn't usually how it was, so that maybe could have messed up our energy. But guys are ready to go, but I just feel like tonight was just – it just wasn't our night. Shots weren't falling, but and I, that's a, like a reflection of me as well. Just like again, not getting my team organized. I, obviously, like you said, this is just one of those unorthodox type of games. Um, it's just one of those things that happens when you when you play sports. But how do you look at this game, kind of put it behind you, and not allow it to affect you moving forward? Because this is a really tough one to kind of get past. I would just tell the guys really just take it as a lesson. I'm going to definitely take it as a lesson because, like I said, that's on me. And I'm the point guard. I really got to organize the team. So I'm going I'm to learn from it and just move forward. Uh, you said the warm-up felt off. Why Why did it feel off? I'd say just we were kind of messing up what we usually do. Like we got a defensive drill and we kind of messed it up and guys weren't getting to their spots and we were kind of like missing like, this guy's supposed to be in the gaps at the beginning, but we weren't doing that at first. So we just got to clean that stuff up and just really bring energy. Depend, like, no matter who it is, like North Carolina, Wake Forest, no matter what, Notre Dame, doesn't matter. You got to keep bringing energy for every game, the same amount. If you could just talk about the, I guess, the frustration of the inconsistency. You mentioned North Carolina and then a performance like this tonight, being inside that locker room. just the frustration that you guys are, are feeling with the inconsistent ride that you're taking? Yeah, the inconsistency really hurts because we know the team that we could be. And that comes from us sharing the ball. And I feel like I do that the best. I share the ball. So me just getting guys involved and, and kind of leading them to have energy, even if it's like a, a lower team game or a higher team game, just keep the same energy through it all. And I got to motivate guys to go. And that's what could help, our, help us be more consistent. They were probably the most aggressive team I've seen, uh, attacking your ball screens and and trying to push you in different directions than Kyle and, and Amari when he was in there. Just how do you guys adapt to that and, and fight through those situations to get the offense flowing better so you're not throwing bad passes across bodies and things like that? For that type of coverage they're playing, they'd switch it up with a drop coverage or a hedge. So we have things for both things. So we either hit the short roll or the guy lifts, but we just got to come prepared because just because the team does a different game, every game's different. So we just got to know, and we do know, uh, how to attack each coverage. So we just got to come up more prepared. They did a, a pretty good job of taking Miles out of the game. Um, you know, what were they doing defensively? You know, he. He didn't have that many touches tonight. I'd say they were heavy in the gaps, but he could have got more touches, but that comes from us not penetrating into the paint and kicking out because they were heavy in the gap, and we had, we had just kept driving and kicking. We would, he would have got more touches and more shots. Anything else for me? All right, thank you, Nate. Thank you. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it. Thank you.